Buongiorno e benvenuti. I'm Stephanie Smith from Liner Luxury Real Estate and I'm here today to show you this stunning estate for sale near San Gimignano. Check it out! In the heart of Chianti, surrounded by sweet rolling Tuscan hills, there is this charming estate for sale near San Gimignano, not far from the famous city of Siena. Located in a dominant position with spectacular panoramic views of century-old olive groves and prestigious vineyards, this prestigious property offers 170 hectares of land. The estate is made up of several buildings, including the main villa with an outbuilding and two elegantly restored farmhouses divided into 10 comfortable apartments, surrounded by a beautiful garden enriched by a well and a large barbecue area. It is tastefully furnished and finished with materials of the highest quality, among which typical terracotta floors, structures in characteristic sandstone, and splendid Sienese bricks. The property's large green space houses a wonderful outdoor swimming pool, where you can spend pleasant moments in absolute tranquility. A sunbathing area embellished with umbrellas and modern sunbeds is the ideal setting for admiring an enchanting view of the property's vineyards while enjoying a perfect glass of home-produced wine. The estate's own wine production includes 19 hectares of vineyards diversified into national and international vines. Worthy of note are the 2.5 hectares of Vernace San Gimignano DOCG and 12 hectares of Chianti Colisinesi, which makes the whole landscape seem like a painting. This splendid estate, immersed in a flourishing landscape, has the features of the most authentic Tuscan properties without renouncing the most modern comforts and services of the city. Now, let's get back to the tour. Today, we are near San Gimignano, antico borgo medievale circondato dalla Campagna Toscana e caratteristico per il numero di torri al suo centro. The property that we are about to see has a vast extension of 170 hectares of land, dominating over the surrounding landscape and offering breathtaking views over Montauto and San Gimignano. We arrive at the heart of the estate thanks to this road framed by these beautiful cypress trees, which are true emblema of the Tuscan countryside. And already from here, we can catch a glimpse of the breathtaking views that the property has to offer. We have now arrived at a connection point from which we can access various buildings throughout the estate. The estate counts 15 buildings that measure in total 3,900 square meters. Some of these are in need of renovations. However, the others are divided into 10 apartments and count a total of 35 bedrooms and 35 bathrooms. First of all, wow, the view from here is amazing. You have San Gimignano right in front of you. We are now on the path that leads us around the first building, which is divided into four apartments, two of which have panoramic terraces that look over the vineyard. Part of the building is also dedicated to the Enoteca, where they prepare for wine tastings. Right below the farmstead is this gorgeous panoramic terrace, where wine and olive oil tastings are held in the warmer months. So just imagine, you're sipping a nice glass of Chianti wine or enjoying the extra virgin olive oil on a bruschetta. And that whole experience is completed by the most mesmerizing panoramic view, unobstructed views over the surrounding landscape. Nine hectares of land are occupied by the property's lovely olive grove, from which, each year, they produce three tons of extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. 
Of the 170 hectares of land, 20 are dedicated to vineyards. Divided between 2.5 hectares of Vernaccia and the remaining 17.5 hectares are Chianti Colisinesi, from which the farm said produces 110 tons of wine per year. Of the remaining hectares of land, 83 are used as arable land, 27 are woodland, and 30 are used as a hunting reserve. We are right in front of the main villa, which is 290 square meters, developed on two floors, and has four bedrooms and two bathrooms. We are walking along the villa's front yard that is surrounded by cypress trees. The villa's facade boasts the most amazing wisteria that frames the main entrance, highlighting the stone steps that lead us up to the front porch. I like the idea of using a glass front door. That's because it brings in natural light but also provides a beautiful view over the garden. As soon as we enter, we immediately notice this gorgeous antique marble mosaic that sets the tone for the rest of the property. The red and ochre marble in the center are typical colors of Siena. In fact, if we look up at the frescoes on the ceiling, they follow the same color scheme. The ground floor has an L-shaped, and from the entrance, we flow straight into a second room that is being used as a study at the moment and has a lovely view over the garden. From here, we can either access the garden through the stained glass door or, like in our case, check out the first floor. At the top of the stairs, we have a lovely view over San Gimignano. On this level of the house is the living area. Here we have lovely tiles with an Art Nouveau theme. And immediately to my right is the Tuscan style kitchen that was customized to fit the space, has a beautiful marble countertop and marble double sink, storage space, and a table where you can enjoy your morning breakfast. The living area is developed on a slightly higher level in respect to the kitchen. Both the living room and the dining room are well connected to the kitchen. And the living room has a first access onto a terrace that is shared with each room on this side of the villa. The living room flows right into the dining room, which is embellished with a beautiful marble fireplace and central chandelier on the ceiling. And from here, we can access the terrace. I absolutely adore this terrace. It is so peaceful. We have a breathtaking view over the surrounding landscape through the trees. The cypress trees provide privacy. And we have the wonderful perfume of the wisteria and then just listen. We are completely surrounded by nature. It is wonderful. I could already imagine myself sipping my morning coffee here or having a relaxing moment after a long day at work or simply looking at the stars at night. From the dining room, we can also access the bedroom area through these stained glass doors with Art Nouveau designs. The bedroom area has beautiful wooden floors and immediately to the left are the first two bedrooms. The first one is a twin bedroom with a lot of natural light, while here 
We have a double bedroom. I absolutely love the color used on the walls. It is so calming. And the painted details, it looks as if a large piece of silk is just wrapping around us. From this bedroom, we also have access onto the terrace. Along the hallway, we have a third bedroom. Here, we have a queen-size bedroom with elegant furnishes. In this room, you can truly feel the Tuscan influence, from the colors on the walls to the headboard of the bed. At the end of the hallway, we have the two bathrooms that serve the villa, one of which with a cast iron freestanding tub and a fourth bedroom. Part of the property and adjacent to the villa is this charming and private consecrated chapel with lovely cotto floors and stained glass windows. Back in the day in Tuscany, it was quite common to have a private chapel within the estate. From the main villa and the chapel, we can access this lovely Italian style garden, which is definitely an added feature. It adds elegance and tranquility to the space. Also, another particularity about this Italian style garden is that the pine trees present are not typical of this area. They're usually a more maritime tree. Center of the garden is this romantic natural gazebo created by the pine trees and the wall of laurel bushes that surround the central table. I find this space to be adorable and the perfect spot to read a good book while protected by the shade provided by nature. From the Italian style garden, we are now heading towards the pool area and la cantina. Common to the whole estate is this wonderful swimming pool framed by a cotto sunbathing area and is the perfect place to just enjoy those hot summer days and go for a refreshing swim while surrounded by the beautiful Tuscan countryside. To my right is the property's organic fruit orchard. And right now, we are on the path heading towards the cantina, which is quite unique, and now you'll see why. This is where the property's woodland begins. And it's an interesting point, because this cross signs the path where the Via Crucis used to pass to reach the private chapel. From here, we can already catch a glimpse of La Cantina that we're gonna see shortly. The woodland counts a number of secular trees, just like this impressive oak tree right in front of us with lovely lounge area right beneath it where you can enjoy regenerating moments. We are heading towards a cantina and from here we can truly perceive that it is built underground. The soil surrounding the cantina is tough, which is the perfect soil to maintain a constant temperature within the building. The reason why we have this soil is because this area millions of years ago was underwater. And this was the bottom of a lagoon, as we can see from the many fossils that were left behind. Here we are in front of La Cantina. I mean, just look at it. Isn't it impressive? I have never seen anything like it, a cantina built underground. 
This structure was built in the early 1900s, specifically in 1925. And this is where the property produces 110 tons of wine per year. The cantina is 300 square meters and 50 meters long. It has beautiful brick vaulted ceilings and walls. And with the fact that it is developed underground, it maintains a constant 15, 16 degrees all year round, which is the perfect temperature for wine. We are in an area of Tuscany known for its complex and structured wines. Here, we have these large concrete tanks in which the wine matures and then once completed it gets transferred into wooden barrels for the aging process to gain further nuances and depth. However, the property does not only produce wine, it also produces Vin Santo di San Gimignano and Grappa di Chianti Riserva, which is the remaining of the wine that then distilleries use to produce grappa. Surrounded by vineyards and not far from the main villa is this lovely ex finita that was transformed becoming a common area with its beautiful exposed pietra sirena facade. Externally we have this spacious terrace that offers a variety of coffee tables but it's also the perfect place to organize an event or a party during the summer months. Internally, this space has been divided into two distinct areas. On the one hand, we have the loggiato, where we will find a ping pong and picnic table. And the space is embellished by the most beautiful exposed wooden beam ceilings. While on the other hand, we have a spacious room with a central wooden table that can sit up to 24 people. At the end of the table is the most amazing wood-burning fireplace that can also be used as a grill. This space is perfect for organizing events all year round and it truly reminds me of Tuscany with those beautiful exposed wooden beam ceilings, exposed pietra sirena wall and the cotto details on the windows. Adjacent to the common area is this lovely casale divided into six independent apartments. It has a typical exposed pietra sirena facade and is surrounded by a perfectly maintained garden with view over the vineyards. Not far from the casale and common area is this lovely dependance, which is 100 square meters, has two bedrooms and a bathroom. The dependance has its own charming garden with stone table and chairs and reconnects to the Italian style garden. The dependance is part of the same block as the chapel and the main villa. And back in the day, in this area of the house, was stored the Vinsanto. Among the facade is a lovely sundial and the main entrance is slightly elevated because beneath it is storage space. As soon as we enter the Dependance, we immediately have to the left the Tuscan style kitchen customized for the space with lovely exposed wooden beam ceilings and breakfast table. While on the opposite side is a lounge area that is the connection point with the first bedroom that has beautiful cotto floors and exposed wooden beam ceilings. Adjacent to the kitchen is the dining room with this majestic fireplace. Just imagine warming up in front of the fire during the colder months. Just feels so cozy. 
From here we have access onto a charming balcony that looks onto the Italian style garden as well as to the second bedroom which also has cut the floors and exposed wooden beam ceilings. The dining room flows into this spacious living area with lovely mosaic details on the floor and access to the bathroom with shower. The bathroom of the Dependance is connected to the bathroom of the main villa, so if one wanted, by opening up a door, you could unite them. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as I did. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. And let us know what you thought of this stunning estate for sale near San Gimignano. On that note, ciao!